friends. Welcome to 30 Inks, 30 Days, day 12. Wow. So much time has gone by. So starting off with a look at yesterday's ink, which was Solferino. Uh, I had it in my Twisby Diamond 580 Iris. Here is a look at that splat. Most wonderful. So you can see quite of a lot of sheen on here. Um, I hope that's coming through. Let's see. Did I stand up? Yeah, you can see that. Um, in the writing, it is far less evident. It just maybe once in a great while shows up. So that's yesterday. Let us enter our uh, random poll for today. Um... Uh, So we have, ooh. oh, well, I just picked these up and they went in a horrible order. Am I horrible or what do I mean? I don't, I don't know. I know which ink it is. It's that one. Where's the card? Here it is. Robert Oster. Soda Pop Blue or Oster. It's this guy. It's this, it's this guy right here. So, we're going to update our amazing spreadsheet of inks and find a pen for us. Hmm. Oh, this is a good one, huh? Oh, or this one. Um, I was just listening to music. I have a song in my head. I'm going to go with this one because this is a pretty saturated ink, so it'll do all right in this finer nib. So this is my Kara's Customs Fountain K. Yeah, that's what this is. I don't know what model number this is. I think it has like a version 1 and a version 2. I don't know. It's this one, okay? This is the one I have. Um, and I got it with the, the blue outside and the brushed aluminum grip. This nib is finer than I would like. It's probably a fine. Perfect, perfect. Where is my syringe? Mm. Right here, which was next to the sink. Um, I got lots of tissues. So I got this, I don't know. Because it might be like Sailor Michigan, and I liked that one, but then also I think I already had it, so why did I get, I don't know. Why do we get any ink? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Did you see that? Well, this ink is not okay. Maybe the pin's not okay now. So we're gonna pick an alternate. I don't know if you could see that, but it was like stringy.
I don't smell anything, but I don't trust it. So that's unfortunate. <laughs> Welp. Welp, friends. Let's pick another one. <laughs> Keeping it real. I hate that saying. Maria, never say that again. Okay. Today's ink is instead. Oh. I saw that. That was right near the front. <sighs> what a bummer. It's not that old a sample, so I don't know what the deal is. Some of these samples are older. Um, I'm going to pause while I find this one. Wow, I'm super bummed about that. And also that there doesn't seem to be any external indicators that anything is bad. So I wonder... No, it's just... I don't know. It's just not worth it, is it? Maybe it's fine, but it's just not worth it. Okay, so this time we picked Organic Studio Santiago C Blue. I'm going to put it in my Lamy Safari Petrol Blue. I hope I now no longer am certain of anything. <laughs> Let it be okay. Yeah, that worked well for us, huh? Maybe this is just a sign that I'm not supposed to be doing this right now somehow. I'm supposed to be sitting on the cat. I don't know. Friends. I was having such a good night. Is that true? Well, I was pretending to have such a good night. Poop. It's fine. This desk had ink on it already. It's okay. Okay. Um, <laughs> part of me just wants to start over, but this is where this is how this is how this video is going. You're here for me with it. So great. Thirty inks, thirty days. November twenty twenty two. Day twelve. Ink. Organics. Studios. I'm not writing that. Santiago's. C. Blue. 
10, Lamy, Safari, Petrol, this is this left hand. Yep, left hand nib. I love this nib. Every time I write with it, <laughs> I'm like, wow, this is a great nib. Here is that chromatography of this ink. So I know colors are not accurate. We'll keep that in mind. This bottom part here is a darker grassy green. And this top part is blue, like Crayola crayon blue. Let that dry. Um, in case I swatched it on my fingers, so in case you're thinking that maybe you would like um, to have a fashion statement, it is a lovely shade of blue on your fingers. So if you if you get a light application, um, the red of your flesh really shows through, but you can see in these darker applications, I mean, you can hardly tell. Let's get a splat going. What could go wrong? Nothing. Oh, that's nice. That's, we're done. That's that's what I wanted. All right. There's our splat. So, Santiago's Sea Blue by Organic Studio in my Lamy Safari Petrol. Um, I'll say that this is actually a, a really good color match. So, if you have the Petrol, you kind of know what this color ink looks like it's it's pretty close um when it's wiped out when it's heavier and this ink is is very freely flowing there is a lot of a red sheen to the point where it almost takes over the color of the ink now i thought i'll show you really quick something that i started doing for 30 inks i have to catch up a little bit but um, so for 30 inks, last time I transcribed a Margaret Sutton book, the first in the Judy Bolton mysteries, um, and now I am transcribing the second, so the Haunted Attic, and I'm doing that in this. This is the Endless Recorder. I'm doing one page per ink, and I've gotten just a few of them so far. And having a grand old time. So that's my what my 30 inks looks like. I'll, I will show more of that um, book as time progresses. So thanks for hanging out with me in this most fun 30 inks. Certainly full of excitement. I got to go clean a pen and dump some ink. Um, I've enjoyed having you here. Thank uh, I hope you have a wonderful day. I really appreciate your spending uh, time with me and taking the time to watch and to, if you do, subscribe, I love it, like it, whatever. Do that or not. You know, you do what you want to do. Um, and I appreciate you either way. Thanks. Have a good day. Bye.